Hi everyone, I'm going to be replacing these rear discs and pads on this customer's Kia Sorento. Just finishing up my safety checks, so now I'm going to remove the retaining screws on the disc. These got Phillips heads, so what I'm going to do is use an impact driver just to knock them out rather than taking the risk of rounding them down. There's two of them, so make sure you get them both out before you move on to the next stage. And now we're going to compress the caliper slightly so we can get the pads past the disc. This has um, rear shoes as well, so the handbrake is operated off the shoes, not the caliper. So you can compress these just like a front one. Then we're going to get our 14mm spanner and we're going to slacken off the caliper to carrier bolts and get this carrier caliper up out the way. Now we've got these bolts out, we're literally just going to grab hold of the cal caliper and wiggle it free. Secure this up out of the way on a bungee cord or whatever you have to, to hand that's available to you to remove strain from the, the brake pipe. You don't want to damage that in any way. Now that's nice and secure and there's no strain on the brake pipe, let's remove the pads. These are seized in there a little bit so I'm going to tap them through with this pry bar. Screwdriver would be fine, there's probably a bit of overkill but it was right there for me to grab. There's one and you can see they're pretty worn. And then we have to attack the bolts from behind. So let's flip over there and have a look. I'm going to remove these bolts. If I remember correctly, they're, they're 15 mils. Quite unusually small for the, the size of the vehicle, but they do the job. So just crack them off. Spin this last bottom bolt out of the way now and then remove the carrier out of the way to gain access to the whole disc then. Now we can remove the disc. So a rust seal has formed around here and that's what's holding the disc on now. So what we're going to do is tap it around in between the studs, being very careful not to hit the studs with a hammer until it should break free. Okay, so I got it off. My little hammer wasn't good enough. I had to opt for my bigger club hammer and it comes straight off then. So now we're just going to clean up on these, these shoes and the, the back and everything that's on here just to make sure everything's moving as it should be. Best way to clean it up is spray it with some brake clean. Uh, a lot of brake powder gets in here, so if you spray it with a lot of brake clean, it will just wash off. But make sure you've got a bucket underneath or else it will stay in your drive. I've got an old. Um, oil can here that I've just cut the middle out to catch it all off. Obviously we're not going to take a wire we a wheel or brush or anything to the, uh, the shoes themselves. So just squirt them down and make sure the, the springs are clean. And then do the same with the carrier. Uh, once you've finished squirting all the loose stuff off, take a wire brush to it and just make sure you get all the rest of it off so it is nice and smooth and the, the pads glide back and forth as they should. Uh, these are relatively new so all they need is a wire brush but if yours are older and a bit more
corroded, then take out a file or something like that, just to make sure you do get it all nice and smooth and straight. Then spray the remaining of the loose bits off that you just created the wire brush. So now let's uh, regrease the pins. So we're going to check the boot over and that feels fine there. And then take the pin out. Let's uh, wipe the old grease off and apply some of this new grease. Now this is special rubber grease here, so it's not going to aggravate the rubber at all. Whereas if you use copper grease or, or a petroleum based grease it will. And literally just cover it with grease and slide it back in. If you've got any extra grease that squirts out, just wipe that off. And then do the same on the other side. I like to do them um, evenly because sometimes pins are sided and you don't want to put the pin back in the wrong place. So it's just saying good habits. Now that you've slid that in, it's all ready to re be reassembled in the reverse order. Thanks for watching guys. Like and subscribe my channel. Cheers.